in terms of all of these names, there's a lot of new faces and there's a lot of still a uh, veteran as type player. So in terms of young prospects moving forward with this club, all of the college draft picks that they make primarily the ones in that first round, I think for you and I both, Lisa, I think we're both in agreement that somebody uh, like or, uh, Diana Ordonez is going to be the player that we're going to keep an eye on for North Carolina Courage when it comes to a top young prospect. I think we really have to keep an eye on uh, Diana Ordonez. She's drafted out of Virginia. She's a player that hopefully can score some goals for North Carolina, right? When you look at this this forward group um she can score goals and she did do it very well at the collegiate level and now coming into this squad there's not that as anyone that can really do that so it's like you said the possibilities are really endless for these forwards if they can come in make a name for themselves throughout this preseason even throughout the challenge cup prove that they can score goals they can be creative and frankly they can be consistent day in and day out through training and through the games um that can work in their favor and for someone like diana ordonez if, if like right like hope you're listening to this my one advice to you is going to be just work really hard every day and try to be consistent because i think experience wise like you're almost on the same playing field as some of these other players that don't have that much experience yes they have a little bit more but if this this is a year for diana ordonez that she can grow and she can become an nwsl scoring forward and a caliber player that is on scouting reports yeah. every single week for other teams. Um, and I hope that happens with her. I really, really do. Because coming from a program in Virginia, she knows how tough it can be. I mean, that's a really competitive soccer program in what in Virginia coming out of that. But the, the NWSL game is different. So I hope the transition is really smooth for her. Um, and she can make a difference because this could be a really big year for her. She's definitely someone to keep an eye on. Yeah, I'm going to be curious to see if she can ride the momentum, really, of that final year that she had with Virginia. Really a record-breaking year, racking up a ton of goals, a ton of them in which were like game-winner, defining-esque type of goals. And making the decision to say, hey, I'm declaring going early, going pro, I think maybe turned a lot of heads a little bit going into that NWSL college draft, whereas maybe someone – like her was on draft boards, but making herself eligible, I think uh, really made her a top prospect heading into that event. Uh, and honestly, like we're talking about this forward core opportunities ahead in front of them. So we're going to keep an eye. Yeah, just looking, looking at those stats. I always like to stat check you, Sandra, all the goals, 18 yep. goals in her 23 games played this year, three assists that she scored the most in just three seasons at Virginia. She knows how to score. She knows how to find the back of the net and, and be creative doing it. So let's hope it translates. Yeah, absolutely. In terms of all amongst all of the new faces, though, right. For, for North Carolina courage, uh, you know, we are, we're taking a look at a experienced player on all of these rosters going into preseason. And I know for me, when I looked at this roster, the biggest name that stood out for me was Abby Ersek on that defensive line. This is a, a player who has been with this Courage side for a very long time, uh, has captained this team in a certain uh, through some certain difficult times, uh, you know, on the pitch. And this is also a player who, when she's not on the pitch for the Courage, it was incredibly noticeable. Uh, so again, coming off of just 2021 specifically, uh, in the midst of a, of a year that had an Olympics, in the midst of a year that kind of carried a lot of injuries at, at times for this Courage side, you, we saw the struggle for them on the back line. Uh, so much so that at one point in time throughout some stretch of games, there was a bit of shift in formation that they got away from that uh, typical box midfield that they kind of based on personnel had to make some adjustments. So Ursic has very large become almost this sort of irreplaceable player at points for uh, long stretches of the courage season. And I think in this new era heading into this new look courage, she's going to be essential now more than ever. And she has acknowledged publicly the fact that there has been changes within this courage franchise tweeting out there, putting out there, Hey, like 
some of us are still going to be here trying to build on, move forward with the North Carolina Courage and saying that she's going to be one of those players. So I'm um, I'm going to be looking for uh, Erisig to really be that essential experienced player for the Courage in 2022. I think that's valid. I mean, and looking at the defender core, 12 of them listed on the roster right now, they need someone to step up. Um, for me, I'm I'm taking we're taking two on this essential experience list right now because I am looking at Casey Murphy in goal for North Carolina Courage because she is a goalkeeper that needs to have the experience and bring it into the organizational shape of this team because no matter what formation they play they have to have defensive organization and that starts with the goalkeeper so no matter what lineup they throw out there if Casey Murphy can be the vocal leader from the back line from in goal that can see everything and direct the play in in front of her um she needs to use her experience that she has she was snubbed from the NWSL 2021 um awards that they were given she wasn't even nominated for goalkeeper of the year which we talked about on here a big snub for us she had a fantastic 2021 season um a, a number of shutouts just breaking records left and right now she's cracked her way into the united states women's national team roster listed for the she believes cup she w went to australia at the end of 2021 called into the january camp just continuously getting better and if a player like Casey Murphy can continuously get better after she's been in the league for a bit. Uh, she's played a few seasons already, four in the NWSL. This will be her second full one, complete one with North Carolina. She needs to be that experienced player in this league and with this team that can show them how it's done, show them what it's like to kind of get back to their winning ways and, and playoff championship ways. And I think it starts with the goalkeeper in Murphy. I think that's fair for essential experience players in terms of an international spotlight for this team. I think we're both in agreement on a player uh, that we're going to be looking at. Should they be gone for World Cup qualifiers? But we're going with the Vina, the Brazilian international as the international spotlight player for North Carolina Courage. Again, when we're talking about these preseason rosters that come out, you're looking at all these new faces, amongst those new faces, you're going to look at maybe some of the players who have been with the team, who have grown with the roster, with the club over a certain amount of time. And I think having so many different World Cup qualifying events that are going to be taking place throughout the duration of 2020, there's going to be a number of teams that are impacted by that. I believe the Copa America is going to be taking place in July. Mm -hmm. So having somebody like a Dibina un potentially unavailable um, during that stretch of time uh really the stretch of time where a lot of teams are maybe sort of figuring like already figure things out and right trying to ride a wave of momentum that could be something that could be detrimental for a curt side should they lose somebody like a the Binya during the month of july which i think maybe leads a little bit to our 